Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we'll be taking a look at how to do this double sky parallax effect that the kids like. So the first thing that we'll need in Resolve is a lot of people like to use skyline shots. So here we go. A lot of people use drone shots, which are cool. If you don't have a drone, I just went to the top of a parking garage and, you know, cameraed it up. So we're going to do this inside the Fusion module inside Resolve, just because that'll be nice and easy. So into Fusion we go. And the first thing that we'll do is just alt click on this guy to create a little pipe node just because that'll make things a little bit easier. And then we'll hit control space and drop down a transform. And pipe this in there. And we will control C, control V to duplicate. And we will drop this in there. So now we've got two transform nodes. So we'll view this first one. And in this one, we will move it down so our city is below the center line so there we go that's looking pretty good and you can rotate and straighten this out if you want to but i like it being kind of crooked and now in this other one we can rotate it so it's 180 degrees 180 and then move it up so it's above the center line then we'll drop down a quick little mat control and then also add a little rectangle mask and we'll pipe this into the garbage mat input of this and we'll rearrange these guys around a little bit just so things are looking a little bit nicer so in this mat control we will first of all invert this mat and we will make it so it is wider and taller and then scoot it up not that far and then we will make the soft edge so we can get our two clips blending together some then we will just quickly merge our two clips by connecting our outputs there we go merge and if we view this you see it's not quite right so we can just hit control T to flip our inputs and now I mean we've got a thing so this is something kids like to see we can do a little more to make this more fun. So we will pop in a transform afterwards. And we will go to the beginning and we will add a keyframe for the size and angle. And we'll go to the end and increase the size a bit. And we'll view this node. There we go. And we'll give it a little bit of some skew there. So there we go. Now if we play it back, you can see it's got this cool sci-fi look. Another thing that's fun to do, or at least I think is fun, is to add a little lens distortion. Before everything. So aha, that pipe router node makes sense now. And if we view this, I like to give this a little bit of a like small planet look. So distort and we will drop this down some scoot that guy around give us a lot more y curvature and of course all of this you can take or leave you know the goal isn't to make something good it's to make something that gets likes on instagram so now you got that little bit of that small planet look and with that you know happening we can pipe it into our media out and then we can do something cool in the color page and at this point we're done with the effect we're just playing around so at the end of this, we can add you know, some sort of little LUT. Cross Process 02 looks like a good like sci-fi one, and we'll bring this down. These are from the Swiss Let's Pack, available on mistmedia.com slash products. So it's down a little bit, and in this guy, we will add some contrast. We're not worried too much about scopes, because like I said, you know, we're not trying to make anything you know, that is super correct, as you can see with our goofy effects. But you know, that's looking pretty good. Maybe we'll warm it up a little bit beforehand, which will give us a little bit of more interesting thing. Not quite like that. And now that's fun. We can also add in something like a prism blur. And we'll actually do this after the LUT. Drop a prism blur on there and we'll reduce this a little bit. The aberration distance down some. Aberration strength down some. And we'll blend it in a little bit. And maybe before this, we'll add some 
light rays to give it a little more contrast. Because, you know, at this point, what the heck? Some light rays. Drop this down. And we'll make our Y position 0.5, so it's in the center. And we'll change this from default to keep shape of source. And bring the brightness down a little bit. And we'll blend it in some. And of course, you can go as crazy as you want. But for this, I think we've got something that is Instagram-y enough. So this was a suggestion from a viewer. So thank you very much for that. This is a nice, quick, easy one to, to bang out. A good little gimmick to have in your back pocket in case someone wants to see this. So anyway, like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts or feelings or tutorial suggestions. If you have links to examples, that helps out a lot. Also, be sure to subscribe to Mixed Media YouTube channel so you can see if your suggestion gets picked or you can see what other people have. Because I had no idea that people wanted to see this. Also, if you're going to help support the channel or just get cool stuff, go to mixedmedia.com slash products. We've got the LUTs that you can get, all sorts of crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, some great stock footage that'll, that'll be cool for stuff. There's even some more free stuff there too, so check that out. Once again, I'm Anthea with Mixed Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.